Well, Uncle Doug. Yo. I'm curious why Uncle Dan is staring at me so intently. I'm glad he's not staring at me like that. Right? It's pretty menacing. <laughs> it's, it's, I'm, a, I'm a terrifying person just in general. Yeah, oh, it's, yeah. That's just my normal. That's, I have resting evil face. But, but somehow you turned it up to 11 just now, and I yeah, don't know what yeah. I've done to, <laughs> to merit this intensity. Well, Uncle Mark, uh, it's because today I want to explore Ayin Hara, or Buddha, or... Malokyo, or Nazar, or Drishti, or Mati, or An Ain, or Mal Deoho. That's right. The evil eye. Wow. Nice. Uh, thank you. <laughs> we, we need more, more theremin always. We all need a little our more theremin. Whole, our whole show could use about 50% more her- theremin. Yeah. And, uh, and heroin. And heroin. <laughs> I, no, I've got enough of that. Uh, I just don't share. Listen, why did I mention so many names for this phenomenon, you might ask? Yeah, I was asking. Uh huh. Because, holy shit, this thing is believed in all over the goddamn world. Right. Uh, it transcends religions and cultures. Belief in the evil eye is a superstition, or rather a series of superstitions, that has a life all its own. Right. But it is also rooted in basically all of the Abrahamic religions. Mm-hmm. It is, it's crazy. It's it's so pervasive. Right. So what is the evil eye? Uh, well, it depends. It varies depending on who you ask. But at its root, it is the absolutely plausible belief that a mean look from another person can kill you. Right. Or at least curse you and to have some bad luck or and, something. And uh, typically it's probably old women. It, well, it can be old women, right. although... Uh, they're also the ones that you should probably look to to be redeemed from an evil eye. So, ah. uh, oh, so they have the they have the disease and the cure. Yeah, right. Yeah, it, it, it's, I wish I was an old woman. <laughs> I mean, you kind of are. Soon <laughs> enough, getting there. Exactly. Soon enough, Doug. <laughs> uh, so basically, uh, yeah, I I love uh, this superstition uh, because it unites Muslims, Jews, Christians, Hindus. Ancient Greeks and Romans, African folk religions. It is widely believed to this day all over the Middle East, West Asia, South and Eastern Europe, uh, Central and South America, East, West, and North Africa. Basically, wildly varying cultures that all think that their neighbor can make them fall down or catch a cold or lose all of their money or even die. By looking at them funny. It's beautiful what unites us. Right? right. Isn't it? Why do we fight? Right. Right. Uh, so, yeah, looking at them funny or by complimenting them or by giving them advice or by opening a window or basically doing <laughs> <laughs> anything at all. Boy, wow. it's easier to list what can't kill you. Right? Exactly. Yeah, the um, side effects are insane. Right? Yeah, it's not good for you. It's yeah. unhealthy, frankly. Right. Uh, d- d- and this belief dates back at least 5,000 years. Sure. Uh, records... Uh, cropping up among the ancient Sumerians. They've also found amulets that are believed to be for warding off the evil eye in Syria, dating back to 3300 uh, BCE. Wow. It is, as as long as people have had eyes, somebody has assumed that you can do bad things with them. Yeah, well, there is, you know, that, that penetrating stare. There is that, uh, yeah. that kind of blue steel that is, uh, <laughs> we're, trained, we're trained to look to each other's eyes as the windows. To our very souls. Well, and some of that comes from uh, from the ancients. Uh, going back all the way to classic antiquity, you've got Plutarch, who theorized that the eyes could actually produce deadly rays that would shoot out at each other. Pew, pew. Yeah. Super huh. um, absolutely. Pliny yeah. the Elder also discussed the power of enchanters who could zap you with their gaze. Mm-hmm. As a matter of fact, the word fascination comes from, like, bewitching someone. Right. Being able to, like, be hypnotize them with your eyes. Yeah. Right? Yeah. So if, yeah, if someone were to fascinate you, uh, yeah, you 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 should probably seek the help of an amulet or some sort of uh, talisman. Right. Um, you can actually find trinkets and baubles to ward off the evil eye everywhere, from the streets in Mar- of Marrakesh or Punjab to the jewelry section that I shit you not of Bloomingdale's, which <laughs> is pages long of just evil eye stuff. Or what? and I'm not making this up. Model Gigi Hadid's new shoe line, I love. Okay, like that's this is. Hey, does, does, does Gwyneth Paltrow sell an anti-evil eye 
<laughs> vaginal egg. I'm sure she does. Because if someone looks up there, you want to be ready. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I, I, Doug, and, uh, Doug and I have actually purchased talismans yeah. to ward off the evil eye in, in uh, Armenia. Yeah. I That's believe right. you. Yeah. That's 100% a thing. Now, describe the ones that you guys got. Uh, they were like a little glass heart-shaped object with kind of a iris. Looked like a little uh, eye. Yeah. Now, you had it. mentioned before uh, uh, blue eyes. Uh, did Was your thing blue? It was blue. Because often blue... Uh, a lot of the time, the the way the legend works is that bluer eyes are eviler, huh. uh, and are also strangely incapable, less capable of warding off the evil eye. Like you, mm. if your own eyes are blue, you're more susceptible well, to this. Science has mm. proven both those things true. Yeah. Both of those things, one hundred percent true. Yeah. that's that's just uh, ocular knowledge. Not yeah, everybody so, knows that. Um, so the talisman that people use, or talismans, talismans. Talisman? Talus persons. Yeah. <laughs> Talus persons. Attorney's talisman. <laughs> yes. <laughs> that people use to ward these things off are often blue, um, either discs or balls or uh, a lot of times it's a, a hand with an eye in the palm ah, of the hand. The eye of you. Fatima. Yeah, exactly. The, the, yeah, the hand of Fatima or the hand of Miriam if it's Jewish. I dropped out of art school, bitches. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Finally. Yeah. So, <laughs> Some so, value. Yeah. Hand of Fatima in Muslim culture, uh, Hamsa in, uh, in Jewish culture, which is the, or uh, often called the hand of Miriam. Mm. Uh, ham, or, oh, sorry. Hamsa is actually not Jewish culture. That's uh, other cultures. But Hamsa, yes, the Hamsa, with weirdly, like, the pinky is also a thumb. It looks a little disconcerting, but hmm. that's how they keep it symmetrical. I don't know. Hey, um, if it keeps the evil away. Yeah. <laughs> like how what's disconcerting to you is that the pinky kind of points out a little bit, not the fucking eyeball in the center of the hand. Hey, that's just that's just knowledge. That's <laughs> the, Everybody just knows that that's, that's real. That's your fucking ableism talking, Doug. Right? <laughs> uh, Palm eye is a serious condition. <laughs> right. They can also be called nazar, uh, which is a word that also means evil eye. Um, mm. Fighting fire with fire, I suppose. Yeah. Uh, usually it represents, uh, it's it's an eye in some form or another. Yeah. Um, there And like I said, often blue, usually concentric circles of dark blue, white, light blue, and then dark blue again. Hmm. Um, and these are everywhere. Do you remember those, Doug, when we bought those in our yeah. Yeah, was Yeah. Sounds just like Mine was, was different. About. I just got a kid's foot. So, <laughs> it wasn't even blue. I got a punch in the snout. <laughs> oh, I'll tell you, yeah. if you've ever been stared at by a, a really pissed off Armenian policeman, you yeah. know the evil eye is You real. want all the talismans. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> it's intense. Well, and that's the thing, right? This thing crops up because people look funny at uh, other people. If you look disdainfully at another person, a lot of the time that's considered the evil eye. Right. Mm. Uh, if you look with envy upon somebody else's uh, stuff... That's an evil eye and... And, and can, a violation of the Tenth Commandment. Right. Which and, we know. And can cause, apparently, the person to lose their stuff mm. if, you, if it's not warded off. Um, a lot of these cultures have some way of warding it off, including spitting three times or cross if it's Christian crossing themselves and right. then doing two fingers at the person. Mm. Uh, sometimes it's the pinky and the pointer finger pointed... Kind it, of the devil horns. Yeah. Right. Yeah. yeah. Uh, Italians wear... Uh, a, a lot of cologne, cornetto, uh, which is a which is a little a little <laughs> horn, yeah, little image of a horn, uh. and that's supposed to ward it off. It is the weirdest thing. Now, Doug, I wanted to ask you: when uh. you were in Honduras, did anybody have a, an evil eye superstition that you encountered? Uh, not so. Yeah, actually, up on the north coast of Honduras, there's a tremendous amount of African influence up there. Yeah. Because of you know slavery, lots of bad things that happened. <laughs> yes. Uh, so yeah, there was uh, there was a lot of voodoo, and so that's a you know there was a lot of that talisman, evil eye stuff going on, which is interesting. But it also comes so so a lot of the in South and Central uh, America, there in, in and in yeah in Latin America and in Brazil all all over the place. There's a there is a lot of the African influence that has it, but also the uh, the Southern European influence, the mm. Spanish and Portuguese influence mm. has a lot of tradition of this, uh, and Italians also have right. it, uh, and it can get really intense. I read an account of a woman who was of um, of Arabic descent, mm -hmm. and when she would go and visit her her ancestral home, her her, her grandparents, and all of the women around her, anything she did. 
she got she people oh no oh no you know if she if she turned on the ac and it was too cold and she wasn't wearing a sweater or she wasn't wearing a, a scarf or whatever ah oh, you can't do that and if she rolled down the windows or if she if her friend went out with her hair wet like all of these things and it all comes down to the eye the evil eye what? like all of this becomes this curse that you can get and you there are different prayers in you know in islam there's a prayer that that you say to get rid of it or or you do a little thing it sounds exhausting. Yeah. It is super intense and super weird, and it can be almost – almost anything can be attributable to – you know, if your neighbor just – if you feel like they're looking at you funny, boy, you better say a prayer. You how, better do a thing. How great to live that way, right? I mean, to be <laughs> – to have your life completely controlled and, and bedeviled by such a blizzard – of superstition, right. yeah, that uh, you don't have time to get in trouble. Yeah, no, and and war- ways of warding it off can be delightful, uh, including things like pinching your buttocks or somebody pinching your. I it was unclear. The pinching of buttocks is one of the things. <laughs> that's that's uh, the excuse. Yes, your honor, I was warding off the evil eye. Yeah, right, exactly. Yeah, Armenians. <laughs> sure, you it is. mentioned Armenia. Did you say Armenia? Yeah, yeah. yeah we that's Armenia. the pinching of the buttocks is a thing there. Really? Uh, <laughs> yeah. Things, things like po- pointing fingers in specific ways. Yeah, uh, yeah. Saying certain prayers and uh, all sorts. Of, it's it is. It's just nutty. Starting a multi generational vendetta, probably. <laughs> yeah. No, I mean this is, and here's the problem. And you you you've stumbled on like the the real harm of this sort of thing mm-hmm. is that your neighbor can just be having a bad day, and it can be enough for to start a feud. Right. It can be enough to start like really bad blood between people. Right. Because they assume that when you look grumpily at them, you're you're giving you're them cursing them. The you're stink literally, eye is literally fucking up their life. Right. Exactly. Rest, resting bitch face is just permanently cursing everyone around you. I believe one of the witches that was hung at uh, Salem, obviously witches, uh-huh. um, was was convicted of having said good morning to a neighbor. Yeah. Yeah. Like. Like this kind well, of thing. Well, that's just <laughs> fucked up. Yeah. Like, that I mean, it's unacceptable. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> uh, in rural Mexico, uh, you uh, a a folk healer called a curandero uh, will sweep raw chicken egg over the body of a victim to absorb the power of the person uh, with the evil eye. It's all kinds of stuff. Brazil has a bunch of crazy stuff. If somebody gives you, uh, I won't pronounce it because I don't know Portuguese. Ojo. Gordo, which means the fat eye or yep. the gluttonous eye, boy, they they have to put plants out and in, in the in their doorways for their for their homes or their businesses. Specific plants prevent specific evil eye. Good God, <clears throat> yeah, it's fine. it is just it is pervasive. It, find it, find something else to believe in that's silly. Right. This is just well, yeah, I, and so that's the thing. Uh, if someone looks at you funny. How about just cut everybody a break and don't believe anything about it? Right. And, or and or then ask. go put a pin in a doll that looks like them and fuck their shit up. <laughs> right. right. Finally, some some reason. Yeah. Uh, or you can do what they do in parts of India, which is like uh, something something to do with uh, wa- waving rock salt or uh, red chilies or oiled cloth over a person. That that works too. That's called seasoning. It's <laughs> yeah, sounds delicious. You season your way out of the stink eye. That's right, the stink eye, whatever it's called, the evil eye. Yeah, this well, is... so there you have it. Uh, belief, belief that transcends. I, I just love when you get a belief that's about magic that isn't really that people who have specific religions still believe in. That has nothing to do with kind of old old folk magic and and I I'm I'm straining there must be but outside of the book of the two towers I can't think of a biblical (laughs) reason to fear an evil eye. There are people there are so there are uh, biblical references that people attribute to it. Uh, There are Judy there are scriptural references in all of the major uh, practices. So there are definitely. There are more specific ones. Casting in, his eye upon him in or something. Muslim, in, in, in Islam. <laughs> right. So you're um, saying there's bullshit reasons to believe in this bullshit. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so like in Islam, there's a quote from the prophet himself, peace be upon him. And uh, w- here's a quote. And indeed, those who disbelieve would almost make you slip with their eyes when they hear the message and say, indeed, he is mad. 
people. I like that you're reading that out of the little balloon next to the cartoon you drew. Yeah. <laughs> That's nice. Thank you. Yeah. That'll be on our website. Thank yeah. you. Yes, we're going to post that. <laughs> I, I love how often you try to get me killed. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's because of your fucking stink eye. Yeah, your well. Your evil eye casting have upon to, me. Well, yeah. fucking wear your amulet then. Jesus. Can you retaliate against the like source of the stink? I mean, because if you never find the original the vampire. Eye, Right? Is that what you're saying? No, but if your neighbor's giving you the stink eye every day, it costs him nothing. Right. And every day you have to, like, crack an egg over your head and sprinkle yourself with rock salt. Right, exactly. It's going to get expensive after a while. Can you do something to your neighbor? Can you stink eye him back? You stink eye him back. Uh, And that's that's how this fucking thing works. Um, And each of these amulets and stuff, by the way, a lot of them are made, are theoretically, they reflect... They reflect the curse back right. on the curser. Gotcha. So, so you know that's what that's what they told us when we bought ours. Uh, it's it's basically like the mirror. I'm rubber, your glue right. of of magic beliefs. Unless they're wearing one, and then it and then it gets caught in in a perpetual back and forth, and whoever walks in the middle is in real trouble. Gotcha. Yeah, it's crossing the streams at that point. <laughs> well, I, here's here I found a biblical reference to you that some people right. give for this. This is from Luke. Uh, it's uh, the Luke eleven thirty four. The I is the lamp of your body. When your eye is clear, your whole body is also full of light. But when it is bad, your body is also full of darkness. Mm. Oh, there you go. It doesn't really I was say, wrong. Yeah, I mean, there are... The, the Bible mentions eyes a lot, sure. and if you want to read into that, it's pretty easy to fucking read into it. Um, Fair enough. Yeah. So scripture kind of supports it, not really, but if you want to, as with all things, you can support it scripturally. It's fine. <laughs> exactly. Well, if we've learned anything here, I think it's that we should be saying Merry Christmas again. So, <laughs> Right. <laughs> go out and do that, people. Keep your eyes to yourselves. Don't look at anybody. And, uh, and Or, or a chicken's going to get stabbed. Right. So. Exactly. <laughs> All right. It Let's, was a very, very informative segment, Dan. Thanks. You're very welcome. <laughs> Let's Moving move on. on. <laughs> 